Hi guys, time it's again. Welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, I will be giving you a forecast on what I'm going to vlog in the next few weeks or probably months. It's actually a joint project of me and my dad. We are building a boat. We have acquired a broken boat outboard motor recently. The plan is we are going to make this work and eventually make a boat. If the repair and buildings are successful, the boat will enable us to access filming some of the places here in our hometown and some neighboring towns. Some of the beautiful places here are hard to access by land and some are only accessible by water. The boat will also serve as a drone deployment platform and as a chase boat whenever we are filming boat races or bancarera. Just in case you have not viewed my old video, I had my drone crash at the sea. So this future boat can be a rescue in case a water crash happens again. But I really really hope not. Well, this is probably a 3-5 to five month long project. Depends on the available time and budget of course. I'll be giving you updates and status of this project from time to time. I hope I could do it weekly. So guys, if you want to follow how we're going to fix this motor and build a boat out of it, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell, it would be nice if you can comment, make some suggestions, or give any helpful input for us. For those who loves my vlogs about places, do not worry guys, I'll still be doing that and upload it between this series. So this is the outboard motor, it's a 5 horsepower Nissan Tohatsu 2 stroke outboard. It's gasoline power and a pull string start. We got this outboard motor with a broken CDI, burnt exciter coil, and missing water cooling impeller. Maybe that missing impeller is the main reason why this outboard motor got broken. Because without a water cooling impeller, no water will flow to the engine to cool it down and will cause it to overheat and the chain reaction of problems may occur. Okay. One more. The first time we tried to start this engine, it did not start. So we tried to check if there was a spark in its spark plug. Yes, there was a spark but it was inconsistent and very weak. So we suspect that the reason why it is weak is either the spark plug was too old, burnt, or shorted the ignition coil, or the CDI itself is broken. We tried replacing the spark plug but it was still the same. So we moved on to the next potential cause of the problem. We tested the ignition coil using a resistance tester and it seems to be normal. Next suspect was the CDI. CDI is a capacitor discharge ignition. It is responsible for storing the energy generated by the exciter coil to be fired to the spark plug by the pulsar coil. It's not easy to test for broken CDI, so we decided to replace it with a new one. We tried to search the net if we can find anyone who could deliver in our location, but sadly we can't find any. So we decided to use the locally available CDI of a motorcycle, Honda TMX CDI to be exact. We tried replacing the CDI and tried to check if there was a spark, but sadly, it was still inconsistent. So we suspect that the problem could be the exciter coil. Maybe it's burned. So this is the exciter coil. My dad tried to rewind it using a coil salvage from an old voltage transformer. But we can't reach the required voltage because the only available coil diameter 
it was just larger than the original one. We tried to find a replacement online, and luckily we found one. So we have a stable spark, but since the motorcycle CDI that we are using is not exactly compatible with the exciter coil, we placed a resistor between the CDI and the exciter coil to limit the current between the exciter coil and the CDI. So, that's it. We have a running engine. Now we're going to install the water cooling impeller. Now everything's assembled and ready for testing. But before testing, we have to submerge the propeller part under water. It is a must for testing because the water cooling system needs to suck up water going to the engine. So we prepare the water container here for that. Look behind you, Dad. Look behind you. Yeah, Okay guys, we are going to start the engine, okay, so uh, let's just start. You said everything is going out? Salido. Alam ko. Tulga na ano. The propeller is now turned on, it's no longer neutral. It's now forward. Wait, so it wasn't on the wall? Yeah. Neutral lang yung... No. Okay, sige lang. Not too much, maliligo tayo. Tama na. Okay, turn up. Up in the air. What did it mix with? I don't know. What happened? Bubble chan. 
that smell. So that's it guys, we have a working outboard motor. The next thing to do is that we are going to design our boat for this. Me and my dad plan to make a small boat for this. Just enough for three people and small enough to get optimum speed for a single person. So guys, if you like to follow the progress of this boat building, subscribe to my channel. We have a lot of things to explore here in my hometown with this boat. So, I'll see you in my next video.